Hi everyone, GD here. I'm glad you could all join me today. Well, today I've got an important subject to discuss. Gold. Yes, any of you that have followed me for a long time know that I am a gold bug first, silver second. Silver is a speculative metal to me. Always has been, always will be. The point is, is that you got to speculate with gold too. Okay, so the reason for this video, not only to show you these beautiful gold coins, but I recently had somebody contact me, a subscriber, that watched one of my previous videos called The Truth About Silver as an Inflation Hedge. And they asked me if I could do a similar video in gold. Well, I am not going to go as in-depth as that video was because there's no reason for it. I can answer that question pretty simply. But I do encourage any of you to go back and watch that video, and I will put a link in at the end of this one because there was lots of great information in there. But it crosses over. It's the same for gold. It's the same for silver. It's the same for real estate. It's the same for coins. It's the same for anything that you put your money into. If you buy wrong, it's not a good inflation hedge. If you buy right, it's a great inflation hedge. I know that's kind of simplified, but the point is, is that if you're buying at the top of any market, you're not going to beat inflation. If you buy at the bottom of the market, you're going to be a star. Okay, folks, so very simple. As I said, gold can be a great inflation hedge if you buy it right. And it is my preferred metal. I love it because governments love it. And it is highly liquid and very condensed value. That's one of the beauties about it. So again, I wanted to keep this a very short and simple video. The point is, go back and watch that original video on silver. Just about everything I said there carries over to gold as well. The point is, is that there are times where I completely sell all my silver. I never sell all my gold, but I do sell gold to try and get my costs down. And that's the sensible way to do it with both gold and silver. If you're a person that believes in silver tremendously, use my suggestion that I do in that video, where when it gets to a certain price, sell a portion of what you have to get what you're holding the cost down. That will help boost, compound that fact that will help you with inflation. Okay, folks, I said I wanted to make this a short one. I hope this helped. I will put a link for that other video. I encourage you to go back and watch it. It was a great video, great information, and I think it's very helpful whether you're talking about gold or silver. Okay, and until next time, oh, by the way, I will say this is probably going to be the last video I'm going to do on investing in gold and silver bullion. In the future, my videos are probably going to be really revolving around coins, only because that's the market I see right now as being the market that has the most potential. Yes, coins have gone up quite a bit over the past couple of years. They far outrun silver and gold bullion. If you bought rare coins, not common modern ones. But I think that market still has some to run. I think gold and silver still have some to run. I think until the world straightens itself back out again, we're probably going to see an uptick in both gold and silver. But I think we still have a little bit more to go with coins, and that's where I'm going to be concentrating. Okay, folks, until next time, I hope you're all doing well. This is GD saying stay safe.